because you about to be an ATL yeah. You know, it's interesting because a lot of blogs are doing exposés on Tiny's looks. And I'm like, hold up, hold up. Y'all know I, I had to uh, pull it up. Lifestyle Magazine. If Lifestyle Magazine didn't got into it, nah. Oh, gosh. Shout, look, y'all think I, y'all, I don't be making this up. Life, Life and Style Magazine. Inside Tiny Harris's Plastic Surgery transformation they got before and after pictures of tiny they talking about you know tiny look different and you know her her looks been changing over the years they said the musician turned reality star has come clean and defended the various procedures she's gotten tiny talked about her growing curves specifically her booty back in 2014 with wendy williams and said it's a little bout she said at the time re referring to her bottom and my boobs are about I've always had a lot of booze, but you know, after three babies, they sag. Okay. Then Tamika also cl uh, came clean about one unique plastic surgery. Tamika, which is tiny, uh, said eye implants. Y'all remember she got the eye implants, which she changed the color from brown to ice gray. Okay. And then y'all start saying she looked like Smokey Robinson, but that's what y'all said. Uh, she's still a very beautiful woman. She said, though she received backlash over the procedure, the famous mom stuck to her guns, guns on the decision to alter her eye color. I looked in the mirror and I was like, they're amazing. She said on Good Morning America in 2014, they go into the eye and they make a little slit. They take an implant and it's folded up. They open it and spread it all over their eye. They told me the procedure was going to be quick. Five to 10 minutes an eye. They woke me up. It was very blurry, but then it kind of phased in. Y'all remember that? Remember her daughter, Zarnik, got her eyes done, too, and had problems and had to get them taken out. They went way overseas to get that mess done to their eyes. But anyway, the reality star was forced to travel to Africa for this risky procedure, as it is illegal in the United States due to dangerous repercussions that could include glaucoma, cataracts, bleeding in the eyes, and corneal problems. But after undergoing the surgery, Tiny took the Instagram to celebrate the success. And she said, you know, huge thanks to the incredible doctors, blah, blah, blah. It seems as though Tiny isn't letting any, this is a whole expose. They went down her whole little history. It seems as though Tiny isn't letting any haters bring her down. I just wanted to do something different. I have the right to do that, Tiny said on Good Morning America. It's my body. Okay, and then they said, scroll through the gallery to see how much Tiny has changed over the years lord okay they got 12 pictures let's see what she look like let me close this ad okay that was tiny way back in the day look at a little tiny little ti okay i remember that picture okay uh, i think prince took that picture okay that was in 2005 okay tiny and ti began dating in 2002 and they had three children okay and here is uh another picture this is when she went to court with uh ti okay uh, this says in 2009, it's hard not to notice the plumper pout Tiny is sporting. Okay, so I guess she had did her lips. Okay, she's still pretty now. I'm saying she's still pretty, but she did something her, to her nose and her lips. Okay, she did something. I don't know what she did, but she did something. Then, okay, here go uh, another picture. This was in 2010. T.I. and Tiny tied the knot in 2010, and her booty got noticeably larger. Tiny has always been tiny. But she got her some bigger breasts, okay? See, look, look, she was flat chested right there in 2005, okay? And here she is in uh, uh, 2010. She had bigger breasts and a bigger bottom, okay? And then, okay, in 2011, it's a rising to reality star fame, T.I. and Tiny, the family hustle premiere in December 2011. Okay, that's her, okay? She was settling into her looks, okay? She had had them for a while, okay? There's that. She's selling into being a mom and all that. And then here she is again. Okay, 2013, her hourglass figure really took on more shape as the years went on. So listen. Oh, y'all, it's me. Okay, that go tiny again. Okay, there she is again. Okay, showing her booty. Okay, it got bigger than that. It got bigger than that. It said uh, in 2014, she couldn't help but show off her assets. Okay, and here she is. What year is this, honey? This is in 2018. Tiny sported a red athleisure ensemble while running errands in LA. Okay. Hey, Tiny girl, we see you. And here she is again. Okay. And Tiny, I mean, she's still a beautiful woman. She just looks strange at some angles. Here she is, uh, 2017. Tiny rocking her new look. 
Okay, here she is. What year is this, honey? Uh, with all Fendi, everything. 2019, she went to the Kids' Choice Awards with dark hair, okay? And um, here she is again with braids, okay? And her gray eyes, you know, she's getting older. She's an older, established woman with money, okay? Um, and it says in 2020, she attended the NAACP Awards with T.I. and Harris, their youngest daughter, okay? There she is. And um, here she is with Escape. Okay, so they chose all good pictures of her. So I ain't mad at it. Uh, 2023, the reality star posed with her group mates and co-stars at the SWB and Escape uh, event in LA. So, you know, everybody everybody looked different. They pulled pictures of everybody, including uh, Tasha and Tiny and, uh, I mean, Tasha and the other Tamika and Candy. Everybody looks different, but everybody looks good, okay? Everybody's aging well, okay? And, you know, when you have money, you could do things like that. Now, speaking of uh, money, Zanique then hit the Instagram, honey, to, uh, to uh, defend her mom, against all y'all online bu bullies who keep calling her pit bulls miss piggy uh uh uh, uh, uh what, what else y'all call her smoky robinson so um zanik said y'all need to stop because y'all don't understand how uh that can affect somebody's self-esteem okay um so here is what zanik said earlier today so somebody posted this picture this first picture when she was very very young and you know she looked beautiful before the nose before the lips before anything uh and said can somebody explain to me what happened to tiny because my whole life she's been ugly i never knew she was pretty back in the day so uh zani clapped back and said she grew up in the industry and has always received more hate than love i know most of you can't fathom what that does to your self-esteem because your life revolves around getting on the internet and talking down on others like it's your job without the paycheck the misery so uh there's that i mean you know she's defending her mom for having all this plastic surgery but listen i i, I say this too because once you get online and i think lotto the rapper said it too like people start to like dissect your uh your 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 facial features and everything uh lotto they were saying that she was saying that she didn't know she looked like a white woman until she got online and so you know tiny i guess when she got online people were saying she looked like miss picky she looked like this she looked like that so she got a nose done she got a lips done she got a boob done she got a butt done she got a blah, blah, blah. and then look she got a husband who is enamored with strippers allegedly you know they spend a lot of time in the strip club she saw a lot of women with bodies and i guess you know she decided she want to look like that but first you got to be uh you know secure in yourself okay you can't let all these extraneous stuff deter you from what you look like because at the end of the day normal is gonna be uh good again okay because everybody's gonna look the same everybody's gonna have a big old butt everybody gonna have big old breasts everybody gonna have these big ass uh bloated petunia looking group like everybody gonna have them then like what like normal is gonna be uh the best thing to have okay he said ti looks like a burnt blunt okay uh people are definitely miserable behind some of these apps. they are i told you as soon as i got online people started talking about me started talking about i look like uh gary coleman and stuff like that and i was like okay just because i have a big nose just because i have cheeks just because i have all this stuff now all of a sudden i look like this man over here child bye whatever and i didn't know i looked that way until <laughs> until i got online and these men and wigs tried to come for me okay but there's that uh again you right trees y'all better start dragging people so badly you reap what you sow on the other hand grow thicker skin and be secure with the skin you are in exactly you do not have control over what people say about you but you do have control over how you react okay so at the end of the day my thing is i you know i don't care what you say about me i know who i am so you call me ugly you call me all these things but you know i'm good <laughs> i'm good okay he said gary coleman was cute but you don't look like him you still cute though okay i don't care i do not care if somebody try to misgender me at the end of the day i'm still a woman <laughs> so, it is not a fit me it's funny to me though but anyway he said you like tiny she has a good nature about her she does she does but tiny can be messy too now tiny can be messy too don't let the, the cute face fool you okay but um, I'm moving on. Uh